and welcome to Chili Bee Gaming. I'm Evie, and today we're back with some more Cyberpunk 2077 Phantom Liberty. And last time we completed our last job for Mr. Hans, and he has now agreed to help us. So we're going to go and meet him at the Heavy Hearts Club. So, let's get into it. Do what you're doing. Oh, well, a bit of graffiti, that's, yeah, alright. Okay, so, we need to go this way. What, 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 what? Oh, one of them things. See, we could get that. I think we could get that. Should we try and get that? I think we should get that. This might be a little foolish, but do you know what? I'm going to try. I'm going to try it. Um, crouch. Woof. Ba-bam! Alright. I could really do with, like, a silenced sniper rifle. That'd be really nice. I don't think... I don't think we'll be yeah. able to uh, get one. Now, is he visible uh -huh. to them? I don't think so. Maybe... Hey, dude. You gonna, you gonna turn around somewhere? Damn it. Damn it all. I mean, I don't know how the hell he's not seen us. Do you reckon? Do you reckon? Oh god! Uh huh. Aha! We freaking did it, baby. Uh oh. Are they like on the phone uh -huh. or something? Can I just pose? Could I just, 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 just grab this mm. dude and kill him? Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Come with me, dude. Into the bushes. That sounds wrong. Good night, Vienna. I just tried the stadium. No, not my problem. Not Someone over there. Could we get her? Oh, well, tough shit. Maybe. Maybe we could. Maybe we could, I suppose. Uh-huh. Gotta shoot her! Ah, ah. Uh. We're being attacked! Oh that that didn't really work, did it? But never mind. Come on, dude. Hope you're dead out. Good night. Okay. Let's um, get into cover here. You're going to hit them from the side. You're going to hit me from the side, are you? Ooh, you look like you have a nice little sniper rifle there. There we go. Really? How did you not die from that? Really? Watch each other six. All right. Oh, you ducked. God bless it. Just drop down into here a little bit. Get some cover. From the side. All right. I don't know what it is that causes that weird noise. Oh, he ducked. God bless it. Oh, like it hurt, bro. What? That sounded heavy. Clear. And now you're dead. Score one for me. There's only one more. Leo. Oh, there you are. Thank you. Ha ha. Okay. Can we net running gear for Io Zarin? Hello? Dodger's orders. Airdrop for the voodoo boys in Dogtown. Net running gear. The VDBs will grab the container. Contact them when you're near Dogtown. To pack six net runner chairs, memory boosters with fourth and fifth generator gen generator. Fifth gen demons, ten Raven Micro Cyber MK4 Cyber Decks and some extra RAM. Cool! Well, it's ours now. We are going to take it. Uh, hello? Thank you. Okay, so where is it? Here? On top of this thing? Can we get up there? Up. There we go. There we go. Oh, I'm in the dump. There we go. Well, oh, we have to, we have to bust our way in. All right.
And we are in. Give me that. Ooh, lots of stuff. Carrying capacity shard. Hey, hey. Give me all this. All the goods, please. Thank you so much. Whoa, ha, ha. What a victory. Oof. -a. Give me. Can we use it? Oh, hell yeah. Whoa, it's fast. Fast as anything. Wow. How did they get down here? That's my question. Drove very carefully, I imagine. Um, what? Um, I literally cannot see how they've done... Okay. Maybe, maybe... No. Ah, I see. Maybe through here. Alright, 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 alright. Hey, dude. Don't mind me. I'm just, just, yep. Yeah. Oh, this is kind of... Look at this, though. Wow. Whoa, madam. Another junkie. I'm not a junkie. You're the one walking in the bloody road. Whoa, alright, alright. Come on now. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. There we go. Something a little bit more chill. Ooh, she quit, girl. She quit. And we have to meet him here, don't we? Okay. Have we got a flat tyre or something? We have a flat tyre! What the hell? Well, that's a little bad news bears, isn't it? But, well, we made it, look. Is that a flat tyre? Yep, that's a flat tyre. God bless it, Barbie. Well, never mind. What is it? It's a it's a Herrera? Alright. Well, never mind. Low profilers as well. Nice. That's what I've got on my car. IRL. Low profile tires. They're a bit of a pain in the bum though, because when they need replacing, they're very expensive. And it's um, a costly endeavour. So Is it in here? Oh god, it was up there, wasn't it? God bless it, Barbie. Yeah, they're um they're a dear do, unfortunately. Which is, you know, a bit of a shame, but they're nice tyres. Oh, come on. There we go. They're quite nice uh, alloys as well, even though I do say so myself. Although, my car really does need a very, very good clean. Telling you to get it valeted, because it's a mess. Alright. That is quite the outfit, madam. Good. Are you alright, dude? Hello! Can I just wander in? Hey, you there. Yes, hello. This is a nice place. So play nice, hear me? Got our eyes everywhere. All right. Chill out. God, rude. Very rude, you know. Don't appreciate. Okay. I think my... Oh, no, it's okay now. I thought my frame rate was taking a little bit of a pasting there, but it seems to be okay. I don't want to dance. What do I want to dance with these weirdos for? Oh, he's in the back room. Excuse me. Thank you. Oh. This is quite the place. Huh. Security cams. Well, I'll... What? Hello? 2589. Two... Oops. 2589. I got the code. What's this? Security arrangements. Well. Attention staff. We are expecting Mr. H to arrive in the coming days. He will be using the office until further notice. All staff members must double check the security measures at their posts. Additional tasks and shifts will be assigned shortly. The venue must be spotless. Mr. H expects perfection. And so do I. If any incidents occur on your watch, I will have your head. Sarah. Who is Sarah? Boss lady. All right, folks, well, thankfully I can um, just get in and go and see Mr. Hans. Private rooms, key card required. God bless it. Well, never mind. Let's go to the private room. Maybe we'll get a key card up there. Where there's a will, there's a way, and I have a way. Okay. Ooh. Dad's working. Now, I see. And what is it your mother can't help you with? Oh, so he has kids. Not, not to worry. Or a kid. I'll find him the moment I get home. Oh. Can that be our deal? So you've my word, sugar bear. Yeah, I, I love you too. 
Bye bye now. That's kind of cute, isn't it? Just goes to show, even the even the most you know. Well, I don't know whether he's a criminal, but you know, that sort of person still has like a a family and a life. Okay, uh, it's knock. Yo. Ah. What is with the cats? V, my favorite merc. Splendid. All right, dude. What you completed for me significantly shifted the playing field vis-a-vis -vis Hanson. Excellent work, precisely as requested. You don't look how I expected, but that's fine. Flattery? Really? Come on, Hans. Flattery? Really? Seems a little beneath you. Mm. An overused tactic. Agreed. Unnecessary. No, V, this is strictly business. Good. For those who do their work well, praise is a mere restating of the facts. What is with the cats, dude? The cats are weird. Maybe the one thing I didn't expect, to see the man behind the hollow curtain. Mm. The elusive Mr. Hands in the flesh. Despite some setbacks, you retrieve the Zeta Tech blueprints. Uh -huh. Making impossible decisions under immense pressure. An invaluable skill that few possess. Well, what can I say? You have proven to be a person I can trust. Hence my decision to drop the veil and meet in person. A rare occurrence, I assure you. Were I to have more virtuosos like you, mm. I wager I'd have more than Dogtown in my grasp. You don't actually have hands. Well, your own hands. Dogtown, Pacifica, then I'd line up the rest, snort, and it'll be done. Well, that's a little, yeah. I mean... No, you're wrong, I like cats, but this is weird. What a weird hologram to have. Okay. Anything else in here, dude? Working with bona fide professionals. Positively yeah. a treat. Can you, um, hmm. I sure hope this will be worth me a while. Yeah, although, yeah. Hope all that hard work won't go to waste. Mm -hmm. Profit for me means profit for you. Nothing simpler. Can you give me some tea, please? You may not know this, but I, like I hasten to assure you no one has ever regretted doing business with me. Well, they haven't lived to tell the tale. I know it may not seem all that clear from where you stand, but the gigs you have completed will allow me to audaciously shift some of the pawns and figures on the chessboard that is Dogtown. Okay. Checkmate is but a few moves away. Oh, <sighs> hmm. Yeah, is that your aim? To, to get rid of him? Take it you'd prefer Dogtown with no Hanson at the helm? Hanson wields much power, greedily mm. so. He's also clever. These traits I tolerate, even value, when occurring in isolation. All right. But all at once, no. Especially not in one who grips an entire district in the palm of his hand. It makes business trying. You keep faffing with the tea, man. Give you me the tea. In some tea. It's my own blend. Is it? Well, I like tea. Uh, so yeah, sure. Sure, why not? I like a bit of tea. So, how did this combat zone become Darktown? Fortunately, my, you know. my tea cup at the moment is empty. I've drank it all, which is poop. But never mind. All right. Hmm. Nice bit of tea. Um. Unification war? I heard this and that. Something to do with the war? 2069. Colonel Hansen led an operation colorfully called Midnight Storm. Can I, can I? The objective... <sighs> to occupy this combat zone and establish an NUSA staging ground in Night City. Oh. Soon after, the sides agreed to a ceasefire. Hansen's force was left to fend for itself. Headquarters, the public, everyone feigned ignorance, pretending Hansen and company were never here. They have gold teeth. But our good colonel decided to put down roots. Mm -hmm. He declared this combat zone an NUSA territory. In our terms, he carved out an enclave for himself and went from soldier to arms dealer overnight. Uh. Can I sip my tea? Come on now. Marooned he was. 
Two weeks for a bullet to reach his brain, everyone thought. But his brain remained intact, mm -hmm. and he became a force to be reckoned with. A man whose existence is a threat to many is a dangerous man indeed. Well, that's... Yeah, that is kind of true. Yeah, what about our deal? Come on now. It's all well and good chit-chatting, but what about our deal? Did my part? Yep. Time you did yours. Yep. Ah, indeed. Yes. The Black Sapphire. Mm -hmm. Hanson stronghold, guarded by elite soldiers. Military quarters are situated on lower levels, while top floors are a decadent haven for the ultra-rich. Ooh, fancy. The building's blueprint was not easily procured, I should say. Hanson guards his hotel secrets as if they were an embarrassing rectal itch. Oh, God. But, given a will, ways are usually found. Yep. You help a client of mine, they reciprocate, and I gain latitude. Quid pro quo in full effect. Mm -hmm. The building plans are yours. I'll even throw in vulnerabilities to watch for. A token of my appreciation. All right. And, though this goes without saying, the data, its source, are completely secure. No one knows you have it. Certainly hope not. Data leaks, or lack thereof, are the difference between myself and, say, the late Mr. Deshawn. Yeah, we won't talk about him. He was a butthole. The Shard. Black Sapphire info and blueprints. All nooks and crannies. Okay. I trust it's all you need to waltz in and perform your planned pirouettes. Yet a word of caution. Go on. Even fully prepared, you'll be marching into a pit full of vipers. Lovely. Watch your step. <sighs> Thanks. Thanks, Hans. Yeah. Let's not I get greedy. I only hope this won't mark the end of our collaboration. No. Truth be told, a few new assignments seem imminent. All Let right. me guess. More local political gaming? Activity is abundant in Dogtown, and behind closed doors, plots and schemes. Yeah. Should change ever occur, as it inevitably must, someone really ought to pave the way for a smooth transition. Really? <sighs> yeah, I mean, it was nice to meet him in person. Nice meeting you. Finally pinning a face on the name. Yeah. You should count yourself lucky. Few have done so and lived to tell the tale. Yeah. Well, that's all right. And V. Yes. Whatever happens at the Black Sapphire, make sure you come back alive. Mm. I'll try my very best, dude. You're try. going where local and international politics mix. Strong currents. Both. You're in there, dude. I'll make sure to plant my feet firmly then. Later, okay. hands. Rice burrows. The something, the chess something? Interesting. Well, there you go. That's Mr. Hans. That is quite the artwork. Anyway. The cats, man. I don't get the cats. But whatever, whatever, whatever. Is there anything else here? Sorry, Hans. I just, um, I've got to be nosy. You know me. Luke Goblin, all that jazz. Ooh, a leer. What's this? Contemporary Netrunner groups. Among all notable Netrunner groups or cells in recent years, found in translation has undoubtedly emerged as the most infamous. The four members of the group, known only by their aliases JD, AP, SK and BPM, primarily target major Braindance studios and productions. The first reported cyber attacks perpetrated by found in translation, FIT, were breaches of studio data fortresses that contained Braindance files slated for release. They made slight adjustments to the recording data in order to replace positive emotions towards corporations with hot-blooded hate and to erase corporate logos that were planted for promotional purposes. In July 2076, after a fit-altered version of the Braindance Badlands raid hit the market in the Pacific Northwest, many consumers took to the streets of Seattle in a surge of violent anti-corporate riots. Following the incident, student studios tightened security measures and law enforcement authorities formally recognised FIT as a terrorist cell that posed a significant risk to public safety and order. In response, FIT adapted its ta tactics. 
Rather than solely launching attacks on Braindance producers, they have begun to infiltrate domestic and commercial Braindance units to corrupt or alter data. Their most recent data manipulation attacks on the Braindances, Wasteland Fury and Slave to the Supervisory Board, have cemented their reputation as a formidable Netrunner cell that refuses to yield to outside pressure. Cool! All right. Well, Hans, um, enjoy your... your... What, 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 what can we... Does he mind? Probably not. Let's just have a look. How are things? Chester Bennett? Hello, Chester. I must admit that I knew nothing about your commanding officer's affinity for exploring underground bunkers. Is there anything else I have not been made aware of lately? From Chester to Mr. Hans. He planned it with... Jago and Murphy. I was in charge of securing the other thing we talked about and had no idea about Sinashore or anything related. But don't worry, as far as I know, he doesn't even have a buyer for that tech. Got more important things to deal with right now. Mr. Hans to Chester. Regardless, I do hope it was the last time you have kept me in the dark on a matter. Such approach would not benefit either of us. Kind regards. Hey, Mr. Hans. Right, dude. Well... Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll leave you to your fancy room. I'm out. I'm gone, baby. Enjoy, man. He seems like a nice dude. For a... a fixer, you know? Ah, I'm annoyed about that. I want to go in the keycard place. The keycard place! Maybe we can get a keycard in here. Okay, so we need a call read. Let's see... Just exactly what's going on. All right. Reed, let's talk, man. Reed, got the data shard from hands. Our golden ticket into the Black Sapphire. Mm. Perfect. Send to. No worries. This connection's secure. All right. Catch. It's on its way. And reception complete. I'll pass it on to Alex. Very good. And as soon as you're ready, join us at the moth. I'm not there when you arrive. Just wait. Till then. And there you go. Meet with Reed at the Moth. What was the Moth? Oh, the Moth was the bar, wasn't it? Okay. Um. Alright. How far is it? A few hundred metres. Maybe we could take a little peep around. See, I believe... <sighs> I've been told by one of my lovely viewers that there is something at the very top of this pyramid. But the question is, how on earth do you get up there? That's that's my query, because I can't really see a way to climb it. I don't think you could climb up this bit, could you? Do you suppose? It's probably a little too steep, maybe. Hello? What the hell? What the hell? Another one of those drop thingies? Oh god, it's over the other side of that building. I don't know if I can really be bothered. Ah, no. I mean, how do we, how do we? There must be a way to get up on this pyramid thing. Oh, God, that's barbed wire. Jeez Louise, be careful. Be. Oh, that was where we crashed out of before. Do you suppose? Could we? Hmm. Oh, I know I shouldn't be trying this. I know this is foolishness. Climbing over rubble and rubbish and garbage and oh god, oh feet, can you get up there? Can I actually get up there? Is am I able? What a place for it to land as well. Oh, hello, Mr. Hans. There is a job, V. Oh yeah. A journalist, Bree Whitney, has fled into Dogtown. Mm -hmm. I need you to look after her. Um. Yeah, what's the gig? She fled. Means I gotta keep her tucked away? No. Bree has a lead. You're to help her complete her investigation. There's a corp on her tail, as she put it. All right. That is all she said. Miss Whitney seems to have some minor trust issues. Where do I go? Wait, so, where am I meeting this mystery insistent woman? You'll go to her apartment first, on Skyline West. You're to collect an electronic access card. Okay. And no, do not say this car wants it open. I simply don't know. Contact me once this is sorted. You'll learn more details then. Alright. Whoa, whoa, whoa. 
They nearly saw us, dude. They nearly saw us. Okay. Hmm. We just need to... We need to take these folks out. I don't know why I'm so invested in getting these things, you know. Hmm. Is there anything we can distract them with? Doesn't look like it. Should we should we do this? Well Weapon down now. Oh for God's sake. Are you dead? I think they did. Of course we need to reload. Why wouldn't we need to reload? Don't put your heads out. And now you're dead. Score one for me. Ooh, just not quite quite. Die, 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 die! Alright, love for the else a little bit extreme. I know I'm, you know, being an absolute menace right now, but, oh. Flank! Flank her, damn it! Okay, let's do it! I heard those stupid... <coughs> blade things. Ow. God bless it! <coughs> it's a very irritating noise, that. Clear. Somebody having a bit of a bit of a moment. Shit's fucked up. Well. Oh. Oh. Okay. All right. He's all right now. I think he I think he sorted his life out. Hello, sir. What y'all doing? <laughs> Oh, sneaky, sneaky boy. And now you're dead. Score 200 for me. It's looking real bad. I know the score changes a lot. There you go. Casualties. Casualties. There you go. Balls of war and all that jazz. Thank you, boys. I'm gonna, I'm gonna shut this thing up because it's doomy me in. Oh god. Oh, where is it? Yep. Oh, no. Yep. There we go. Oh, we're in. Big mag. What is that? Ooh. Sounds interesting. Warden? Smart submachine gun? Give me all the goods, please. Everything I can possibly have. Oh, and the carry weight has increased as well. Archived conversation. Alright. Archived conversation. Romeo Ramos and Alexa Porter. Romeo. Hang on, some tubes getting in my face. Alexa. You got the drop? Hello? Romeo. Hey, <laughs> put the tube in his place. Yeah, we got it, but it's on this tube's car. Alexa, question. Romeo. Wing, what's that, a grinny face? See for yourself, sending, file. Alexa, oh, shiz. That sort of shiz not supposed to happen. Romeo, yo, airdrop looks okay, undamaged. Alexa, and the car's owner, Romeo. We'll talk some sense into. Alright, so this landed on some dude's car. I mean... I'm not going to lie, it doesn't exactly... Um, Looked like it was that drivable anyway, so never mind. Lear, you got anything for me? Any goods? Anything of any interest? Thank you. Alright. Now the question is, should we go and meet um, Reed straight away? Or should we... Should we just enjoy ourselves a little bit first? You know, we don't get to do this sort of thing often. We're always 
looking to do somebody in or do something in or... Ooh. Yeah, disassemble it. Give me the parts. That's fine. Okay. Yeah, I believe that there's something at the very top of this pyramid, but I have absolutely not the funkiest idea how you'd get in there. What? Y'all alright? What are you doing? Oh, I see. You've taken some of you. Alright. You're nobody. Fine. Well, we'll go meet Reed, eh? Should we... Should we... Can we drive this? We certainly can... Oh my god, the yellow is... The yellow is a lot. It's a weaponized vehicle. Holy. Alright. I didn't really need a weaponized vehicle, but... Well, maybe I did. You know? It's a little slow. Not as fancy as it... What's happened here? What's happened here? Oh, this is where we were before. Never mind. I know, I know what happened here. <laughs> I happened here. Surely we should be alright if we're in one of their vehicles. We should be fine. Nobody will bother us. Nobody's interested in us. And that's what we want. Okay, so this one. Preem digs. Alright, let's, let's just ease our way through here. Um, okay, we can't do that. I think this is pedestrianised zone. Alright, let's just park up. There we go. Uh, great. Alright. So through here. I do need to sell off some stuff and there is a point up ahead of us here. So I'm going to do exactly that. Let's um, sell. Alright, let's lighten the load a little bit. Ooh, thank God for that. My God. If we could. Here's to you, Canalito. I don't think I'd recognize you on the street today. <laughs> Your room's exactly the way you left it. Just as messy as the day you disappeared. Uh, I wonder if we can find those people, you know. Relic malfunction? What? What's going on? Why is my relic malfunctioning? Okay. Oh, this is not good. Johnny, are you about, mate? Are you here? All right. Ooh. Oh dear. Oh god. Oh dear. Ah, shit. B, what's wrong? Come on. It's fine. I'm all right. Yeah, I'm fine. I think. Okay, maybe I'm not. Okay, maybe I'm not. Maybe I'm not. Oh, fine. Maybe I'm in a bad way. Sit down. How can I help? Really? <clears throat> Starting to get used to it. Yeah. This the relic? <sighs> what else? Yeah. Not just a little dust allergy. No. <laughs> Fucking relic. You experience them often? These attacks? Uh, Don't really keep count, but never Johnny? know if the next one won't be my last. Wow, rough. No shit. Death's breathing down my neck, always. Mm hmm. I know what that feels like. Being a dead man walking, yeah. Being a dead man walking? Exactly. I never talked about this, you know. I should be saying they tried to kill me. But sometimes it feels like they actually succeeded. Hmm. Maybe. By the way, it's not me moving my mouse. This is the the Bob is part of the the scene. I think. Tell me more. Yeah, come. Let's hear it. Ambush. Attempt on my life seven years back. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he said. What exactly happened there, Reed? I landed in the ICU. 
Why well, I waited for some Arasaka goon to come finish me off. Damn. I was betrayed. By our people. The FIA. I say betrayed. But I was sold out. Part of a deal. A peace offering. My head on a silver platter. All for a ceasefire. Peace comes at a price. Someone's always got to pay it. Yep. Come on. I'm going to show you something. <sighs> yeah, you feel responsible for it. Come on, V. And I get it. You feel responsible for her. You're her captain, she's crew. Mm -hmm. No matter what sinking ship she's on, I'll be there to get her off. Even if I have to go down with it. Let's go. All right. Okay. Surprised Johnny didn't make an appearance. But that's, Let's ride down. That's fine. Where are we Whoa. headed? On a little trip down memory lane. Oh, okay. To see some old junk. Some old junk. Oh, okay. Oh, all right. The boiler room? Is that where we're going? I still can't believe Alex decided the best place for a bar was right over our old safe house. Well, why not? She's always had a twisted sense of humor. It's called Where's hiding in plain sight. Right you downstairs? Know? She's finishing up recon in town. Mm -hmm. We should make ourselves at home until she gets back. Okay. Well. Well, well it's dark in here. Place. Let's brighten things up again. Yeah, good idea. Oh, 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 oh. Ah! Uh. Reed. Really? I was looking. The end of any war is never pretty. Both sides race to tie up loose ends. Uh huh. What you doing? A car bomb blew up one of my crew. Another was poisoned. A third got shot in the back of the head while buying a pack of smokes. Damn. A couple of us just vanished without a trace. Oh, there you go. Oh, oh. There you go. Okay. Every night we waited for Arasaka agents to come finish us off. I had to make a choice. I chose to dig our heels in. Mm -hmm. I thought we still had a fighting chance. I mean, the mannequin heads are kind of worrying. Bold. It was stupid. A mix of both. Maybe I just didn't know how to walk away. Let it rest. Maybe. Or maybe. I don't know how to lose. Nobody likes to lose, you Either know. Either way, we managed to save a few more agents. The price for that was yours truly. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, they did still betray you. Say what you want. It sounds like they stabbed you in the back, plain and simple. Yep. Saving many of my people in the process. Yeah. You play grown-up games, you face grown-up consequences. It's very true, it's very true. Funny. Now to everyone. It was Songbird they asked to pull the trigger. Wow. Wait. Yeah. They asked her to do him in, wow. Uh yeah, she probably didn't have oh, a choice. Had no choice. Did, didn't. It's irrelevant now. I suppose so. What happened happened. I was leaving the city, heading home. Ooh. Songbird was still here, in this very room, in fact. What? Oh, sorry. He was guiding me on comms, led me straight into a trap, neutralizing me. The last assignment in Night City. Then she got a ticket home. Damn. Can I read this while you? Um. Yeah. And now you're trying and to save her. You're now trying to save her. Why? Because it's the right thing to do. True. I had plenty of time to examine this under a microscope. Under focus, some things sharpen, mm -hmm. others blur. But there comes a point when you just cut through the bullshit and see what's in front of you. Yeah. Can we can we read this? Just as a just as a concern. Professor Susan Bayer, 
Medical Opinion, Confidential. Preliminary Report Number 473, Subject Song So Me, Songbird, compiled by Professor Susan Bayer. Bayer? Yeah. Key notes and observations. Agent Song does not fall into any category of disorder that would disqualify her from service. That is because, as things stand, we have no appropriate category for her ailment. Right now, so... Right now, So Mi's symptoms do not seem to have an effect on her ability to carry out her duties. It is difficult to tell how long this will remain the case. Observations. Having analysed the recordings provided by the agency over the course of many years, I can only surmise Song So Mi's overall well-being is at risk. The agent's micro-expressions reveal moments of panic, which currently do not affect her ability to hold a conversation, nor do they hinder her ability to carry out her duties. It has been ruled out that these fleeting moments of panic are the result of avoidant personality disorder. My working theory is that given the colossal amount of cognitive processes the agent is constantly subjected to, she had to develop a strategy to mitigate the inevitable cognitive overloads. This leads to the agent cutting all processes at once, temporarily leaving her in a void, thoughtless. An average unlocker would be oblivious to these moments. What is most concerning is the visible increment in the duration of the aforementioned episodes of panic. Paired with subtle personality shifts, a report detailing the personality shift will be sent out within a week. On their own, these could be attributed to the simple fact of growing older, yet in my opinion, they warrant undertaking a more thorough diagnosis of the agent in a laboratory setting. Conclusion I believe that in Song So Mi's case we can ill afford to deviate from the mandatory protocols. At this stage, my professional opinion is as follows. Agent Song So Mi requires care as well as additional extensive research into her ailment. I recommend she be suspended from service effective immediately and to send her to one of our research facilities where we will be able to conduct an official diagnostic process. Only then will we be able to issue an official medical opinion and recommendation for future treatments. To reiterate, I fully believe handling Song So Mi's case according to official protocol is the best way forward. So she has some kind of condition? Mind you, I suppose if you're a runner, you're under constant load, aren't you? Really? Songbird is still my people. Yep. And nothing can change that. True. Fuck, Reed. She's a nice lady. Seemingly. Now, my is, is a whole nother story. But Songbird, no. I got nothing against her. I don't blame you. Yeah, Myers. So why Myers? Yeah. I miss anything? Ooh. Hi, right, Alex. Reminiscent. So good. Let's get this show going. I checked up on Slider's contention. Looking how to write, it turns out. Oh. I dove into old mission files wherever Somi was involved. They were buried deep, near impossible to access, even with my clearance. All right. Each and every one. Alex? Black oh. All authorizations, mission orders, personally signed by one person. Rosalind Myers. Oh. Wouldn't want to be in her shoes if that shit floats to the top. Oh. The NUS is a small country governed by a woman with highly ambitious goals. Sometimes those ambitions went out of reason. But that's not something we need to pour over now. Alex, what do you have for us? Yeah, well, a little of this, a little of that. We'll plan in a sec. Say, V. Like playing fancy dress up? Fancy dress up? Yeah, like, not like. Why does it matter? What's the matter? Gotta do what needs doing. Preferences be damned. Yeah. All right, little Miss Sourpuss. All right. Managed to learn that some pop megastar is gonna grace the party with a show. Guest list? Expect everybody who's anybody. Okay. That includes you. Oh. Gonna don fancy outfits and rub shoulders with VIPs. I love be it. Warned though, fancy doesn't mean easy. Shopping Ready list. for the okay. deets, V? Uh, let's have them. Let me hear them. Black Sapphire, mm -hmm. the most heavily guarded place in Dogtown. Doesn't mean security's airtight, though. V, you're gonna enter through a flooded tunnel system. Got a top-of-the-line diving suit, ought to fit you snug as a glove. Okay. Water's maybe a little super toxic. So yeah, be careful. Fun. Toxic how, yeah. Toxic how, exactly. Hmm, from suspect waste, some sewage leak too. Don't worry, suit's piss and shit proof. Oh, lovely. Already know what the hotel looks like. Ooh, really, really hard go. to miss. Flooded tunnels here. 
That's your way inside. Okay. Now focus. You'll reach a terminal at the end. Jack mm -hmm. in and breach the cams, giving Reed his window to slip into the building. You'll take different elevators up, here. Saul will open a passage to his side. For you ask, yeah, it's the only way. Okay. Area could be heavily guarded, so you'll have to be on your tippy toes. It's fine. Couldn't get clean intel, so you'll just have to be creative. Improvise. Love You're it. You're gonna meet here. Soon as you meet up, you'll doll up like it's prom night and go to the ball. That's where you'll rendezvous with Songbird. All right. All clear? Uh, fine. Yup. Prem. Okay, let's talk gear. Take your time. Grab right. anything you think might be useful. Well... A surprise awaits you in the box. I mean, we all know what I'm going to do, don't we? We all know what I'm going to do. Because I bloody well can. I will take everything that you have, my dear, purely because, well... I, um, I enjoy it, you know? You can't take these things on the wall, which is fine. It's decorative. What was this over here? Shopping list? Saggy Z... I I don't even want to know. Good lord, madam, jeez. So what's in the box? What's this though? So this is our tactical diving suit. Take that. V. Yes. All right. I'll open the bloody thing. Jeez, Louise. Calm yourself. Whoa. Is this good? It's a gun. This your iron? Is it silenced? Sure is. Her Majesty's been itching to return to active duty. This feels a little weird. I'd be honored. All right. That reminds me. Hands. What did he want in return for the favor he did us? Uh, to win an invisible war in Dogtown. Yep. Hands has the mind of a corpo. War's like a biz to him. Uh huh. Runs it that way. Mm hmm. He pits everyone against each other. By the time they realize they're all fighting on his behalf, it'll be too late. Yep. Politics. Sorry. It's the same shit wherever you go. Yeah. You know, if not for you, we'd have no way of getting into the Black Sapphire reaching Sombird. Well, don't worry about it. I'm, uh... It's good to have you on our side. I mean that, V. All right, chili beans. That it? We set? I believe we are. Good. I'll hang back a while and then meet you there. Cool. All right, well... There you have it, folks. There you have it. We, uh, we have a plan of what we're going to do. So, next time we will um, probably offload some of the stuff we've just picked up, you know, because we don't need all that. Uh, but we will then go and find these flooded tunnels and get ourselves in. Let's just have a quick peep at this weapon that she was on about to us. Uh, okay. Wow, I have a lot of stuff in my inventory. Was it that? Was it that that she gave us? I mean... I mean... I just... Yeah... Yeah... No junk to disassemble, there you go. Well, alright, fine. That's that then. So, never mind. All right. Yes, so next time we will go and find the flooded tunnels and make our way inside. So, until next time, be safe, be good, look after yourself.